All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ark Scorched Earth. I hope everybody's having a great day today. So, last episode, um, we did a whole bunch of stuff, guys. We, you know, we did a little bit more with the base. Uh, I got some thylas bread. Um, we went and spotted some uh, some of the wyverns. Got mothy absolutely shredded. Uh, the end of the episode, there, we ended up getting our hands on a. Uh, a tap out, which is you know super super fast flying mount, and today we're actually going to be leveling him up, trying to see if we can get it super super fast. Uh, that way we can maybe try to go get ourselves some wyvern eggs. Um, so I'm definitely definitely excited for this. Uh, but I hope everybody's having a great day today. We just got done playing some Sons of the Forest, and now it's time to jump into some arc. Oh, what's going on, everybody in chat? So good to see you. So good to see you. So, um, let me make sure. Oh, uh, I gotta check and see if I have any metal really quick. Uh, cause one of the things I do want to build is a, um, a trough. Yep. Boom. Uh, so what do we need here? Fiber thatch and wood. Um, wood. So as you guys can see, I never ended up getting these damn uh, containers reorganized yet. Look at this. Okay, so let's go ahead, craft up the trough. Uh, what am I short? Oh, I need 20 more wood. We got a new friend. Alright, let's see here. Craft one of these. Then we're going to have this. That way, if there's any uh, tames around, if we're breeding, anything like that, everybody will be able to eat off of this. Place that bad boy right here. No, he should be able to eat from it because it's on his back, right? I hope that's how that works. <laughs> Alright, so we should be good to go. I'm going to take this little bit of meat here. We'll throw that into the trough also. There we go. So let's go ahead and grab our new tame. And I gotta make a saddle for this bad boy, right? Hapa. And now the thing is, I actually didn't have one of these in my last map. Kill the thing that's on my shoulder? No, they're so. It, it's, it's my weather device. It tells me, uh. when bad weather's coming. What is it called, chat? What is it called? Okay, what level is this thing? There it is. This should be it, right? Now, was that one a Smithy's saddle? I think it was. Mm. 
All right, let's see here. So... Yep, I think it's this one, right? Yeah, so we just need, uh, fiber- Wow! It's actually quite a bit of metal. Okay, so we gotta get- we gotta get some metal ingots, uh, done up really quick. Not a big deal. Um... And we need a bit more fiber. Now, I don't- I think I actually have any. Yeah, we don't have any. So really quickly, let's go. We'll throw some, uh... Throw some thatch in the, um... In the smithy for right now. In this... In these. We're gonna fly out to the mountains, grab a quick bit of, uh... Metal. And then we'll get, uh... Get to these ingots done. It should be easy. Oops, I need that. Uh, drop that. Now, I believe it's, what, two for one, right? Um... In that, I think it's two metal f for one ingot, if I'm not mistaken. See if we can find one that's like really, really rich with metal. Yeah, this one looks pretty good. Yeah, two for one, that's what I thought. So we got 600 right there. That's quite a bit. Oh, I didn't even realize my RG had this much meat on it. <clears throat> Gotta grab a Dodi to harvest metal. Yeah, I feel like if I, you know, once we get to the point where I need to harvest, like, tons and tons and tons of metal, uh, right now, everything's pretty small, you know, I could easily go out and get, you know, 600 metal right there, uh, you know, in a f but if I needed to, you know, make like a super, super grill or anything, but the way I'm looking at these new maps that we're at, none of them are really going to end up being like long-term maps, I guess you could say. Split this in half. So I'll probably really never need crazy, crazy resource generation. Um, when we're just passing through the maps, checking out the caves, checking out the stories, things like that. But we'll see, because I... I might, uh, eventually have to get on that, but we'll, we'll see. Like, I won't need to make a metal grill on, or, uh, whatchamacallit. The one thing I do want is a grill. For sure. Definitely want a grill. Um, but, like, to make a forge or soup, like, the one thing that's gonna be expensive is, um, blueprints. Some of the blueprints get absolutely crazy. And that that's, might be where I need, like, really, really high levels of resource gen. Phoenix can harvest metals and smelt them in a sense. That, that sounds so crazy to me. Right, we're going to let that cook up, and while we're doing that, let's uh, clear out the area a little bit. 
Yeah, where the hell's my uh, imprinted Dyla? There it is. Yeah, if, if, and that's the thing is, if we're doing like a uh, like more complex builds and stuff, I'd probably actually build a. We'd need a real base. Try to get these two closer so they're within the feed intro. There we go. We should have enough metal, I think. There's eight. No, I don't think. Yeah, I think we needed. Shit, I think we might have needed like 75 for that, right? 45. Okay. We got what we needed. Craft that. Yeah, actually, that's what we're prepping for right now, Ender. Uh, we're getting our uh, our ship built up. I'm 60 years young, and I've never thought I'd enjoy watching someone play a video game however I am. I hey, HOF. I'm glad you're enjoying it, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, you generate more resources with an imprinted dino that has more. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying, Jay. Am I planning on living on a racer the entire map or until you find a good spot? Um, if it died. Yeah, so the uh, the thing with this was for this map, um, because I know I'm not going to be spending a t whole ton of time here. Uh, my, my goal was to, you know, come grab some of the rare tames and then um, let me grab this. Beat the caves and then the main boss and then uh, move on. You know, we're not going to be spending 20 plus episodes or you know 20 plus streams on scorched you know what i mean we're gonna we're, we're gonna keep it moving because we have so many other maps that we have to play too um so i don't know how permanent of a base i'll build here um i am gonna need to do some breeding obviously in order to get uh boss dinos but as of what that's going to actually require, I, I have no clue. You know what I mean. So, if I run into a situation where I'm like, you know, I need, I need, uh, I need definitely uh, to build like a more permanent base in order to get this done, then we'll do that. But I'm only going to kind of build what we need to build. I know there's some new uh, crafting things in this map too that I want to check out. Let me see here, like scorched earth, Pacific. What is an oil jar? Throw, create an oil slick, or it can be lit on fire. Is that like a PvP thing? Yes, I plan on checking out all the maps, Ender. Yep, even the non-story ones. Uh, but we'll be doing them all in order. You know, that I'll be doing, you know, Scorched Earth, and then what's next? Aberration, Extinction, Genesis, and Genesis 2. Like, that's the order I'm going to be playing the story maps in. Phoenix taming? Mm. 
Oh shit, they got a wind turbine. It's a new way for, to get electricity outside of a generator. Uh, we got the chainsaw, which I have a good blueprint for. Flamethrower. Would you guys say the flamethrower is any good? Buster grenade and rocket homing missile. Okay, so for this, we're gonna definitely... We got a little bit of health. We're gonna start going in movement speed. I'm gonna get... A bit more health. Just in case we do get hit by a dragon, um, I want to make sure that this thing can take a couple more hits than... The base was following me, chat. Wow, this thing has some monster mobility, chat. What the hell? Like, look, you can, like, fly backwards with it. Yo, it's so mobile. Oh man. All right, so let me turn off resource uh, harvesting. I'm gonna leave the little bit of meat on them to eat. Then we'll turn off resource harvesting. Yeah, the melee the melee is definitely not that great. <laughs> That's for sure. I gotta give this thing A plus though in mobility, like I don't feel like my Petra could do this. Like fly it like on a dime like this. You can cling to walls. Yeah, probably be easier to fly around and try to get the, uh, the X, little XP nodes. So what would you guys say is a good... Um, definitely need some stamina. A good um, movement speed for this dude. Yeah. To be able to keep up with the dragons. Over 9,000. Yeah, we're going to be trying to get a wyvern egg. That's why we're leveling up this, this bad boy right here. I'm going to... Yes, MS, I have, I have all the intention on trying every map 
DLC, all that stuff for this game. As long as you guys are watching, we are playing. That is the rules. That's how it goes. So I don't know how many of these explorer notes I already hit. Need all the speed. Here's the need. The need for speed. Samuel with the super chat. Uh, I do want to thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, we're going to be trying to get a, uh, a wyvern egg today. Hopefully it works out. Um, tech lore. Thank you so much for the super. As cool as the Phoenix is, the chances of finding one during the heat wave are pretty slim. It can't be ridden as cool either. As the Phoenix oh. is, the chances of finding one during a heat wave are pretty slim. It can't be ridden either. But if you find one, you tame it by attacking it with fire. Techor, thank you so much for the super chat, but I appreciate that, man. I mean, it makes sense that you can't ride the Phoenix, I guess. As much as I wanted to ride that bad boy. of a creature such as Impusa Disimpus is both fascinating and frightening. Not only is Impusa the only recorded insect to have developed an opposable digit, allowing it to grip objects and use tools, but it possesses a level of intelligence that is unrivaled among non-human species. I have even found clear patterns in the sounds Impusa makes when communicating with its own kind, as though it is actually using some kind of dialect. I would love to study these interactions in depth, but observing Impusa up close is extremely dangerous. Its size, intelligence, and ability to pounce on its prey from a great distance. Salvation, thy name is Prophet's Rest. After a proper meal and some time out of the sun, the makeshift fortress doesn't look half as grand as its name might imply. Yet, when I first sighted its walls from across the dunes, it may as well have been El Dorado itself. So grateful was I to find it. Thus far, I have seen little of the inhabitants, but they seem a hospitable sort. I've been given food, shelter, and even a wet cloth to clean myself with. I'm quite generous of them, considering how scarce water is in these lands. Their clothing is a curiosity, however. Those robes seem more ceremonial than functional. Samuel with the super chat. Uh, you can ride the Phoenix. Uh oh, we got we got mixed information again. Either way, I'll probably never find one to find out. <laughs> Christ, what am I stuck on, chat? Why won't he fly? It's no damn chill, man. Sketchy as shit, man.
Yo, I can't believe how mobile this thing is. There it is. Playing that fucking game, dude. Hey man, it's been a bet, by the way. I am almost all caught up to your arc videos. Hey, Cook, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying them. At 202%, guys. My bad. I stand corrected. I am human, after all. Here it is, Tecla. Hey, it's all good, brother. It is all good, man. But then there's uh, there's still people in the chat saying you can't fly on it. But whether I can or can't, like I said, I don't think it matters. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever find one. I feel fast, guys. I feel like we're we're definitely getting fast. We're at two hundred and two percent. We got to be getting in, uh, being able to dance with the wyvern's speed. I had been pondering why Tamur required the services of a doctor. He seemed to be in excellent health, and I had seen no patient since I arrived. Well, now I shall ponder no longer. Timur has a wife, and she's with child. I suppose that even bloodthirsty raiders can fall in love, or at the very least, desire a family. The whole affair would be rather quaint were I not expected to care for the woman and deliver the child. Should either the child or the woman die during the birth, I fear that I will follow them in short order. You can ride them? Awesome. Alright, so we're up to 202%. Yeah, 202% movement speed. And about 1300 stamina. We actually need to rest and re up our stamina. XX Lexi, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. I appreciate that. So I could outturn the wyverns. <clears throat> I gotta I gotta figure out how So like when I'm being when I'm being chased, what do I just fucking zzz, and like fly back towards it or something? Just use my mobility like this. Cause yeah, this thing turns on a damn dime, man. All right, so we're gonna go do an egg run. Um. Hopefully this isn't awful. There is a red drop up here. If I could get my hands on that, that would be awesome. Cherry wyvern eggs. 50 pounds each. Make sure you have enough. Ooh, I didn't even check the weight. I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pretty empty um for the most part. And we'll eat really quick too. But yeah, this so we're at 139. 50 would jump up to about 180. 
Uh, minus, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have my shotgun on me. I'm not gonna have any of that stuff on me. So I think we'll be okay. Wait, rise. Uh, Jamar, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. And again, Jerry, I appreciate the love, brother. So when I'm on this mount, I got to use more than just a, 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 a straight speed trying to just outrun the... Do you, think, do you guys think I can outrun the Wyvern at this speed? So, I mean, I feel like I'm flying fast, but then I feel like I'm not, really not flying all that fast. Or do I have to use, like, the jukes? Oh, uh, yeah, we're up at... We, I've already pumped tons of points. We're, we, yeah, we're 200% we're speed. Yeah, I have been enjoying your videos right now. I am waiting for a gig to spawn to get its heart so I can do the alpha dragon. Oh, cook, that's intense right there, man. Out of all the stuff we've done, I've never killed a Giga. I have tamed one, though. Which I feel is way easier um, to tame one than to actually kill one. Where the hell am I? Okay, yeah, my base should be this way. Uh, but Cook, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it, man. Uh, Silhouette with the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you, brother. Alright. Prep for egg run number two. So we have already done an egg run, chat. Well, we attempted an egg run. I can't say we've done because we didn't do anything. How much faster was that damn tape flying? I don't feel like it was flying all that much faster, chat. I'm scared. We'll keep one canteen on me, one full canteen. Got that. I'm gonna leave my tools here. We'll leave that. Yeah, when I get that last dragon head, I can do all three stages of the tech cave. Then I can transfer to Scorched Earth. Yo, Scorched is where it's at, man. Nah, yeah, Cook, that, that's that's crazy, dude. Like, 
That's one thing I never did. I didn't do the alpha bosses. So man, that that's some that's some crazy stuff right there, bro. So we're gonna leave that gear in there. Um, actually, I'll bring a. Uh, I, I got some more organic poly. I'll make a. Let's make a regular ghillie set. And that's what I'll wear over there. Forgot I had all that, uh, organic poly. So we got food, we got water, I got my spyglass, and we got our... our okay, so if we, if we lose anything, it shouldn't be a very big loss. Oh yeah, we are moving, chat. Yeah. We should be fine. So... What is the goal, chat? Like, how do you... You just find an egg you want? Fly down there? Like, aren't the drakes just gonna come right at you before I can even get to the egg? Well, if I die, there's... I w a sleeping bag is irrelevant. The only thing I was thinking, like, you guys were like, oh, you could, you could build, like, a chest or whatnot, um... Problem is, I was trying to be sneaky last time. What I'll do is... <clears throat> Thank you for your military service, and thank you for continuing the ARC series. Oh, sir, Steve. Easily my favorite series of yours. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you, brother. I, I, that means a lot to me, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been having a great time with this, with this series. That's for damn sure. I got I got a plan. I got a plan, chap. Got a plan.
So, what is it? I'm gonna store this extra Thyla in the box. Um, so if we do steal an egg, I can just steal the egg, bring it to the box, right? Um, and then if I do lose my flyer or whatever, and I can always just respawn at the sleeping bag, jump on my Thyla, and then just run back to base. Yeah, that's why I, I gotta get used to the- So what, what I'm gonna try to do, chat, is like, if I'm flying straight like this, right, Wyvern's after me, I was literally just gonna, boom, flip and just fly towards the Wyvern. Um, because then he's gonna have to complete- Because I can turn around, like, instantly and fly the other way. If he does that, boom. He's gonna have to slow turn, right? And that's- I'm gonna be freaking whoop. All an ass. Uh, Samuel, thank you. You got a five to eight second window. As soon as you touch the nest before the white room gets to you, then run and don't stop until you're clear. I'm not feeling any more confident. Chris, thank you, brother, for the super man. Uh, from one army, old army grunt to a young marine, uh, you still looking for a few good men? <laughs> they found one of you good. Hey, I appreciate you, brother. Seriously, thank you so much, man. That means the world to me, brother. You have a 5 to 8 seconds window as soon as you touch the nest before the wyverns get to you then you run and don't stop until you are clear. The issue is spotting the egg. You know what I mean? Knowing From which- From an old army grunt to a young marine. You still looking for a few good men? They found one in you, Brian. Cheers. So where do we want to set this up, chat? Our little, uh... Egg dropping station. Maybe up here. Oh, that's a hell of sus up here. We'll do it right here. Nothing could spawn up here, nothing can get up here. And my thylus should be able to get down from here, no issues, right? Yeah, we'll be able to get down from here pretty easily. Isla's in there. Drop that stuff in there. Even if we don't get an egg, our goal is to just not die. Terry! Uh, sometimes you can get, uh, can aggro the wyvern to wild creatures. Yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try everything in my power this time around. Our issue was we were f so slow. The wyvern was just in my ass crack, like... Even- and then, for some reason, the fart wasn't really doing anything. Even though he was in my ass. Stand back. Here we go. Yeah. 
So level 110 poison at wyvern egg. Is that pretty good? Chat. Level 110 poison wyvern egg. I see another one down there too, a red one. That's a level 40 fire. Okay, so what so what do I what do, what do I do, chat? I do I just do I just fly I just fly in there? Dis like like alright, let's do it, let's do a practice run. So I just fly in there, boom, 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 boom right? Say this is the spot. So I just fucking land, jump off, grab the egg, go, jump on, and then fly out. Let's do another couple training run. Fly in, land, jump off, grab the egg. What if it's behind me? What if it's behind me? Boom. Gotta get it. Boom. Jump on. Wyvern spraying. Wyvern spraying. We're out. Okay, a couple more. Boom, fly in. Boom, it's gonna probably be behind me. Grab it like this, big, big. No, no. Okay, we gotta make sure we don't do that. We gotta make sure we don't do that. Egg. Boom, grab the egg. We gotta make sure we don't... We gotta make sure when we dismount, though, we don't fucking get flung off our mount into the, the lava. You know what I mean? So when we get in there, I need to, like, press all the way in. Dismount. Hopefully we don't get stuck in the ceiling. All right, here we go. Put the bird on passive. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Now we got it. We got it, chat. We got we'll we'll run through our all right, so literally, I'm gonna fly in. I'm gonna press myself really far, like, into the hole. When we're gonna push in, I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna grab egg, jump on, spin around, fly out. Okay, here we go. Then when we fly out, fly out, I'm gonna bust a, a, I'm gonna try to go and turn and go upwards towards the mountain. There's that Drake right there, man. What level is that? The level 70 poison Drake right there. Right near where I need to go. Here we go. You guys ready for this? Boy. Oh, it's fucking still here, chat.
no way it's with me, chat. There's no way. I was putting the movers and the shakers on it. God, fucking no, I didn't, dude. It said, fuck my movers and my shakers, dude. We gotta get stamina chip. Yo, every- why are they still following me? Okay, so they aggroed, they aggroed, they aggroed. How long do they trace you, chat? No way they're still on me, guys. There's no way. Well, chat, you guys have been saying they're gone since we freaking were at the, the initial mountain. <laughs> and they weren't gone. So we'll go drop off this egg. There it is, Chad. We got a freaking egg, man. We should try to get another one, right? Wait, so are those wyverns now forever just in the map? Like I freed them from the prison? I don't quite know how I feel about that. <laughs> they will find. <laughs> they 
they will find you. All right, so let's see. Let's go grab another one. Is that how the is the egg going to be good in there? It's not going to like die or anything, right? I don't have enough ammo. Oh, that's good in there. Okay, cool. Seven days. Oh, yeah, we got more than enough time then. Went better than I, I, I thought. They didn't even get close to us, though. They're like damage, uh, do damage to me, which is cool. But I, I thought picking up the egg would be like looting. But no, you had to. I, I actually had to like hold the button, and like I don't know. It was weird. You can't just like tap the button and loot it. You can just push F. Here we go. We're going to go to our same launch point um see, i could see the eggs pretty well from that the desert side there's no saving in this game <laughs> with your raise rates uh you're lucky you don't have to trap a female where i've been knocking out collecting milk. yeah I, I, that's what i heard Techler. With your raising rates, you are lucky you don't need to trap a female wyvern. Knock it out and collect the milk to feed the baby. So that red egg was... Pretty low levels, only a 40. Looks like we emptied the place out, though. That's the only, like, upside chat. Oh, minus that fucking dragon right there. Hope he didn't lock onto me. Nope, okay, we're good. Is there a nest over there or something? There's one, there's nothing in that one, it's empty.
and then that one. Got a red one right there. Level 50. Two are empty. <laughs> empty. Empty. I'm going to switch sides and then skirt down the other way. Trench is way longer than I thought it was. We got a blue egg right there. Level 90. Fertilized. That's an alpha fire wyvern chat. And say do it do we do do we think a level 90 blue I mean we could see if there's one down here away from the alpha now we'll just we could we could try to go for it Be honest, it was only level ninety. Oh heck, thank you for the super chat, brother. You're ready enough uh collect the low level eggs, so high level eggs to respawn it. Yeah. <laughs> Go clear them out. I can see how this would be easier in multiplayer, though, because if you had another person, you could be like, hey, man, go down there, go fly through the trench on a fast-ass flyer, aggro up all the wyverns, pull them out, and then you and a couple other people could just go raid all the freaking nests. But that UD's going to have a bad day, dude. But in multiplayer, other players are here to kill you. <laughs> mm. 
Nothing in those. We've come to the end of the trench, so we're going to switch sides. Start scouting this wall. The one's not as easy to see as the other one. Another blue egg. Level 90. F that one seems like it might be a little easier to get. The alpha's not over here. Oh, rushing with the one month. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate you, man. Ready for this? There it is, chat. They gotta be gone. Nope. Still that one right there. Shit. Nope, they're all still on me. I'm gonna need a stam boost here in a sec. <sighs> Gary, how you doing, man? Uh, we've been streaming a little over an hour now. Now, thank you guys. Almost 400 likes on the show. I really do appreciate it. You know, I'd like to think I'm already safe. Ain't happening, chat.
Might be okay. I think we're good. We got two eggs, guys. We got the we got a level ninety uh, fertilized lightning, and then we have a level one ten poison wyvern. So how do we uh, incubate these babies? Do I just build a bunch of campfires like 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 before? <sighs> Lots of heat. So we'll do some standing torches. Uh, let's see. So we need flint, stone, thatch, and wood. I'm going to need a bit more stone for sure. Where's my RG? There it is. Okay, so we'll craft... Just do a bunch of these. Cook! Brother with the super chat, man. Thank you, thank you. Hell why a a a a a a a I just found a LVL 35 gig. I am going back to my base to get my war quetzal to kill it. Dragon, here I come. War quetzal, man. That sounds... <laughs> there it is, brother. Hey, congrats on that, Cooked. Thank you for the super, brother. I'm not actually making 50. We'll probably do like 15. Um, we're going to see what our taming rates are. Now, if it needs the milk, I could just suck it up with the with the ball, right? You guys said. And then I can, if I need to go get the milk, then I could go get the milk. But we're going to see if I even need the milk. We'll go from there. We'll see if we, we need the milk. If, if so, then we'll do what we got to do. Let's figure out how the hell I can uh, get a wyvern to get the milk from.
There. This should be warm enough, right, chat? light this up. We'll see if it, uh... If it doesn't incubate, we'll get more fire. It's hot. Wow, that's that's why is this so big? All right, it's incubating. That's good, chat. Jerry, uh, you can use the day done. I'll uh, just put it on passive healing. It will keep the baby alive. Uh, oh, what? So. What do I gotta feed this thing? Do I do I gotta like when it pops out? Do I gotta put milk or do I gotta put food in its inventory like meat? Eat me after it grows up. Oh, shit. Oh, so it's not hungry at me. We'll, we'll, we'll see. When it pops out, we'll ch I, I gotta, I'll grab a cryo. I'll grab a cryo just in case my rates aren't where they where they you know we're thinking they are. You can get 50 mil cop that alpha wyvern if you kill it. So we're going to go ahead, make sure this is loaded. Yo, it's hot over there, guys.
What's the best thing to kill a wyvern? Another wyvern? Way there. A <laughs> rocket launcher. <laughs> That fire is killing my surrounds. I know it sounds like a damn space shuttle or something. <laughs> Terry, thank you so much for the super chat. We'll make a wyvern trap and use your shotgun. Yeah, how do you make a wyvern trap? Would I just lure it to fly into it and get it stuck, kind of like a Giga or something like that, and then go behind it and lock it in place? Almost done. One thing I didn't uh, grab was my Thyla. Even though, I, I, not not that I need the Thyla, I wanted the freaking saddle back. But I'll just I'll have to craft up a new saddle. So little. How do we get this thing to move?
Okay, so it is losing food. Uh, wants care in seven minutes. We'll see how this how this works, chat. Ah, uh, stop, stop, stop. I know. So it's at 5% maturing right now. Where are you going, dude? It's at 7%. Now, all I got to do is worry about the food hitting zero, right? The food hitting, hitting zero and then the uh, health then starting to go down. Oh, see, the health does. It goes up and down. So why does that happen? Why does the why does the health fluctuate? Now, you guys said you don't need saddles for wyverns, right? We got something coming in, chat. Some kind of storm or something. So it's a juvenile now. And so, so wyverns don't eat meat at all when they're babies, right? Like not even juveniles? My dino really got stuck in there, chat. Well, 
Lightning storm. I'm only going to do one wyvern at a time. We got a red drop over there. Shit. That'd be nice. I think I'll be okay. To Whoa, where'd my uh, tape go? I want to grab this really quick. We've got to imprint the dragon soon. Well, I got two. I got two really good Thylas close by the the baby right now. So hopefully they keep it safe. Let's go on a walk with me. Let me see this really quick. We're going to increase... Fiber and metal. Uh, I got a sickle up here, I believe. Ah, uh, Sir Simbo with the gifted members. Thank you so much, brother. And another one, man. Holy crap, dude. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the love and everybody a hey, who receives one of those memberships welcome to the family welcome uh, i got a sickle yep here it is so i had a sickle somewhere i'm actually have to cook up some meat here soon Yeah, the RG definitely is clutch on a mobile base because then you don't have to worry about. Um, oh, I need the metal. You don't have to worry about having a smithy and stuff like that.
My Little Chicken Fry, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the fam. Welcome, welcome, brother. Or system. There it is. Where the hell did, uh... Also, another thing we gotta figure out, too, is, um... Where the hell... Can we find ourselves a cave? On this map. I, I don't have... I gotta get my map up. Or a map up. So its food is getting quite low, but we are at a 30%. And the food's not bad. It's at 1,200. Man, that shit will last a long time, actually. I didn't realize how... Because we started off at, what, 1,300? So yeah, these things don't go through food as fast as I thought they would. 57, or So it seems like I'm, I'm not far from one of them, the 57 one. We got three minutes left on that. I think we might try a cave. Uh, once the Swyverns growed up. I'm gonna do this imprint and then I'm gonna go because I feel like one of those caves is really close by. Yeah, a minute and a half. This yellow drop. It's good catch.
Got an Ascendant Flamethrower? And any good guys? An Ascendant Flamethrower? Cooked! With the membership, welcome to the family, brother! Jerry, Jerry, thank you for the super chat, brother. Um, might check if you can repair items on the RG. I know you can't. Yeah, you can't, Jerry. Yeah, that's the one downside. I, I did forget about that. Yeah, you can't repair on the RG. You can only, uh, craft. Yeah, we ran into that issue on island. So this is 205%. Brian, you might check if you can repair items on the RG. I know you can craft on them, but I do not think that you can repair, unless they have changed it. Uh, yeah, we ran into that issue on island. I wasn't able to, uh, repair. Let's see, so we gotta fill those two canteens. I'm actually gonna go up top and cook some... Gotta get some of this meat cooked up. My bad, dude. <laughs> that on there, took that out. I gotta get my imprint. <gasps> Wants a couple too easy. That should we should be about fifty percent, right? Yep, we're about fifty percent now. So it's level one ten base. Um and I can, what, add 88 levels to that? Why is this dude so tank? Oh, he's taking reduced damage. He's raging out. Spyglass. Right, real quick, let's fly over to that uh, location over here where I think the cave is. Right over in this nook. Oh, Sons of the Forest or Ark, which is a better survival game. I mean, I'd say Sons of the Forest is probably a more true survival game. Um, Ark is its like own thing. I don't even know what you would call Ark. Is like it's very unique. It's like a survival game, but then it's like 
it's it, I don't know it has so much more to it than like survival at a certain point survival kind of becomes an afterthought that this is it right here. That place looks awesome, by the way. Once our dragon's um, good, we're going to head in there. I have not tried a PvP server yet. No, I will be trying one, though. Um, we're going to be giving it a go. Just to get a taste, and I'm going to go on an official PvP server, too. Just for the extra... The extra lols. Yeah, the thing is, is, I like it being in that last spot only because it's like I have the I have the zero key like on my like I, I use it for everything in every game. I have it on stated. I have it literally every game I play. I rekey by zero to my mouse button one, um, so I use it a lot. The only reason why I have it there. How are we looking, guys? How are we looking? Two minutes until we get our next imprint. What's the health looking like? Get you parked up top, but there you go. You can get disarmed in PvP by a whip. Yo, that'd be. S <laughs> the thing is, is I'm, I'm trying to think. You know, when I do do my PvP test on an official server, it's like, what map do I want to play on? You know what I mean? Uh, when I did check out the list, because I did scroll through the official servers, and it seems like a lot of people were playing on a map called like, I think it was Fjord was the name of it. Um. But yeah, there was there was that.
Okay, so we do gotta go fill up our water too at some point. The amount of wolves that are fucking coming out the woodwork though, man. Wyvern milk. So now this one wants milk. So what we're gonna do is we'll cryo him up. Whoop, don't punch it. Cryo it. Still wants wyvern milk. Still wants wyvern milk. <laughs> yeah, it just might want- this might be all the imprint and we're getting. Yeah, I think- I think it's- you're gonna- in order to get- you're gonna have to have the wyvern milk if you want a 100% imprinted dragon. Oh, nope, we got it. Wants to cuddle. Never mind. I got that. Nah, I just kept me. Yeah, I just kept doing it. And eventually, we got it. Yo, look how freaking terrified this thing is. Like, it's ready, chat. Uh, JT Owen, thank you so much. Hardened Survivor membership. Thank you, thank you. That is huge levels of support right there. I really appreciate that. N nah, there's no cryo cooldown in single player. Silas on, on security duty. Yeah, it does. So not all the Wyverns have that same face. Because this one does have like a, like a snake appearance to it. Uh, cook just killed the alpha dragon now i just have to let my dinos heal and i'll do all three. Oh, there it is man yo tech cave is no joke tech cave is no joke just getting the dinosaurs into the tech cave um for me was a challenge just getting them in the damn cave so we got six minutes left on that Uh, Timmy with the one month, uh, keep up the good work, brother, by the just way, love you, Alpha right. Dragon now, I just have to let my dinos heal, and I will do all three LVL of the tech cave. Yeah, I'm on PvE. Yeah, I'm playing on single-player PvE. I think the cryo cooldown only matters when you're, uh, on PvP, right? Uh, but Demi again with the one month, I really appreciate. It. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, son. And uh, thank you, guys. We're over 500 likes on the stream. Do not dismount the lightning wyvern during its electric breath attack. It will kill you. <laughs> Like, we got a dragon, guys. 
Uh, you know what? We'll take a second really quick. We'll go down, um, because we got, what, a couple of minutes on that. Let's go get our water. <laughs> you speak from experience. I'm going to like the lightning more than the poison. I mean, lightning just sounds dope. Anyways, you know what I mean? That's all dried up right here. You know what's crazy though is I, I really really enjoy this map quite a bit and I know there were you know the thing is I actually seen a decent bit of people in, in chat that were saying that they love Scorch Earth but the next map is the one I'm kind of worried about because a lot of people say they don't like Aberration I have no clue what the map's like so but I feel like that's the, the one map I've seen people hate on the most Operation is a nightmare. <laughs> mm. Ah, Jerry, thank you for the super, brother. Thank you, thank you, man. I use the lightning and fire ravens. DPS, the poison and more, uh, I use for my C-130s. Couple points in health and arrest and stamina and weight. Just rain in hell from above. So isn't there a fourth wyvern? Why do I, I, I don't hear anybody talking about the fourth wyvern. Is that just, is it, is it that bad or something? Oh, it's not on this map. I use the lighting and fire wyverns for DPS. The post and wyverns I use as my C-130s. A couple of points in health and the rest in stamina and weight. Ice is trash. There's eight kinds of wyverns? That that's actually pretty crazy. Okay, how long do we got on this? Uh 21 seconds. And it's at 90%. We're almost there, guys. I didn't even see you say anything, Bad Wolf. Yeah, remember, my chat's like this big. So if you said something, it's probably scrolled up into the abyss. The abyss. You said a super chat. I don't see any super chat. 
The last one I seen was Jerry's. Hold on, I gotta. There it is. I'm so sorry, Bad Wolf. Blue Lightning Dragon, Blue Mod. Just say, <laughs> I got you, Bad Wolf. I got you. I don't know why. Now it pops up over here on the side after Jerry's. All right, so wants to cuddle, boom. So that's a hundred percent imprint. This thing is getting quite, quite big, and uh, it's at what ninety three percent. So as soon as it hits a hundred percent, I gotta take it for a ride, chat. We just gotta do it. Go around, blast some stuff with it, and then we'll, we'll hit the cave. Never that bad, wolf. You're the MVP. Okay, probably like another minute and a half on that wyvern and we'll be good. Yeah, the boxed up Thyla, that one is uh, a, a low level and that's not even like this one is the one I'm going to mate from now on. So we can go back and get it whenever. The dragon I got will kill me? What do you mean? Wait, you got you gotta wear a gas mask while riding this thing? I can't even make a gas mask. Uh, Tessa with the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Be smart. Uh, we do giveaways all the time. I mean, I don't specifically do the giveaways, uh, but we have giveaways almost shit damn near daily. At the rate Bad Wolf and George are out here. Um, but YouTube has weird, weird rules, man, with giveaways and gambling and all this other stuff. I actually, I used to do giveaways all the time on the channel, but, um, I found out that people could like, I could get in trouble for it pretty much. So then we started doing all the giveaways in, um, we started doing all the giveaways in discord because I didn't have to worry about the liabilities. There it is. Alright, here we go. So, now I can ride this bad boy. Wow. That's the poison ball. Oh, shit. That wipes your stamina, dude. So I lost five good dinos from that dragon fight. My character is making a gravestone and cheeseburger for them. <laughs> hey, man. I lost my whole squad on the uh, on the tech cave. It, it felt really bad. It felt really, really bad. Uh, but Cooks, thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate the Superman. Yeah, we gotta feed this thing. That's for damn sure.
I'm trying to see how the poison works. So let's go ahead, we'll drop this, and this, and this. Alright, so let's see. What's a good amount of health for a wyvern? We'll say let's get her uh, let's get up to like 15 real quick. Uh we'll go melee damage 400 percent Get some good stam on here. Put the pump a bunch of stamina. That baby heal up. Alright, so now we're heading out to that cave. I do have my crappy armor on. Um, well, the only piece of armor that's not the same, um, my armor is pretty much just base level ghillie, uh, other than my ascendant ghillie pants I was wearing. But it's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna be on this same, so I'm not really too worried about my armor. Don't remember how to get over here. What was it again? 58? 47, I think. Fucking Micro Raptor, I see you, dude. It was around this bend here. Was this right here. Yep, I think this is it. Well, only issue is I gotta get up, right?
getting up here. Or no, I think it was over here, wasn't it? It's right here. Got it. Uh, testing brother with the super chat. I uh, should go have a game uh, premiere to boost CH. What do you mean? Oh, like 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 an actual game show? Bad Wolf with the super chat. Thank you so much. No giveaways of random games coming up. There it is. You don't have to do that, Bad Wolf. You've already done so much. All right, here we go. So I believe this is our this is our first cave on this map. Oh, like yeah, yeah. When they, I, I, I don't, I haven't got invited to any of those yet, though. I'm not, I'm not in the cool kids club yet. in this are wicked roomy not as claustrophobic as the ones on the island it's gonna kill still Uh, test the thing again, brother, for another super chat. Uh, it's not. It's not even a confidence thing, man. Like, you know, like I don't. I don't think I'm like not worth um, being invited. I just. I just haven't been invited, you know. And I've. I've had developers reach out to me or just straight up say no to me about things because you know I'm not a big enough YouTuber. Uh, it is what it is, you know. I haven't earned that yet, and you know I'll just keep going until I do. Galward with the five gifted brother. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the family. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the arm with the, the thing in it. Thank you. 
No baddies in here. So weird. Oh, there we go. We got some bugs over here. Couple beetles. Are those the spider dudes? Well, there was little spider dudes. Just get a ton of organic palmer. Keep a little of that on me. Gotta change. I forgot when you cryo, it changes all their settings. That was the artifact? Already? What is this? That was the cave loop. Probably the easiest cave I've ever done in the history of ever. so fast. Dave spawns couldn't keep up. Try to outrun. Oh, there, there's a cave loop. Oh, but he's got an Ascendant Desert Goggles hat. I think that's pretty good. That was quite easy. Is there is there another cave nearby, chat? I mean, shit, we could probably do another one easily. I didn't I didn't really have to use many resources there. Twenty eight, twenty nine. 
what's the other one? Desert Cave is 78, 75, 78, 75. I feel like I'm closer to the Desert Cave than the other one. 78, 75. And uh, I want to thank everybody, too, for all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I'm gonna grab some fibers really quick though. Got that. Wanted to get some sleeping bags done. Did that not give me hide? Oh, I gotta take it in my inventory. The only thing I'm really worried about is uh, I put the or, uh, the rabies. If we get rabies, it's gonna be a bad day. I don't have any heal pots. south from here.
This is it. Seventy eight seventy five is at this building. This is pretty unique, guys. Billy Tyler, why you gotta be such a chunker, dude? Let's eat and drink really quick. Our self is hungry. This place looks- this is a cool-ass looking cave. Buggies again? Yeah, they're gorgeous, these caves. They really are. Is that a lion dragon?
The other way probably had the cave loot though, right? If this is the way to the artifact, maybe. I went this way because it, it was it had the arch. We got we got baddies now. That shit, what is that? That thing broke my armor, guys. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Okay, so what I can do is... Should be able to repair it. That's the good thing about the ghillie, is uh, I can get the re resources to repair it fairly easily. This off the manacore and boom, or the mantis. Seeing you guys saying manacore, that's what the lion dragons. The name of it is. Are there some like really nice looking caves in the later maps too? Cause yo, this shit is like crazy nice. I like I like the layout of these ones. fall in the holes? Yeah, I don't plan on falling in the holes. Oh, shit. Oh, it's like that? There's no coming back from that. <laughs>
All the brand new subs, welcome, welcome, thank you, thank you. I did get this beer skin for Scorched here. Looks really cool. I go back this way without freaking doing the jumps? Or is it gonna be worse? That motherfucker did some monster damage. Can I drop down there? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I was able to bypass the jumps. Yeah, I could have went that way initially with the thyla. I could have climbed that wall. I didn't know it was there. It's like a little shortcut. Pretty sure Thyla can climb this, right? Thyla can climb this. Are you guys wondering? Shit and get out of here. That place is there. That way is thick. Can't take solace in the fact that they don't—they didn't spawn in when I came in the first time because you still gotta fight them on the way out. <laughs> Did I bring grapples? No, I didn't bring any grapples. The dial is so mobile, man. There it is. We got two of them. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do my, um... The boss fights, uh, because I lost my whole entire, um... On island, like, every, every dino I had died. 
Uh, I do still have my breeding Rexes on island. Um, so I could technically, like, breed up some Rexes there. Or I could just do it here. Doesn't matter. Uh, but I would have to go find... Two more Rexes to breed. You guys know how hard that is. They're always so weak. Yeah, I might try to... Well, that's what... I might just try to see if we can find a better... Some rec spawns here. Um... I'm just worried about the levels, because the levels on this one are pretty bad, just like Island. Um... I'd say this map is definitely easier to find the um, islands in, though, for real. Seen those good for boss fights? I haven't even seen any Theros on this map. Are there even Theros on this map? I've never seen one. No Theros on Scorched. Yeah, I didn't. I was gonna say I haven't seen one on this map. I'm not gonna bring any dinos to this map that I couldn't get on. The only reason why I would breed them on um, an island would just to be to it would just be to save time, so we don't have to spend a however long trying to find decent ones. Like level 15. Like what the hell is that? Yeah, I would make the eggs off stream. I probably, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I might, I'd probably do it off stream. Um, I don't know how that works. Like, do, do I have to, like, re-upload my character and then re-download it again on the island? Like, how does that work? I don't even know how to do that type of shit, chat. Them for fine, on you. The micro raptors are still so frustrating. Like, when do you ascend to a level of player where micro raptors are just like not frustratingly annoying and can put you in a really shitty spot? <laughs> Never. <laughs> They're always frustrating. <laughs> Alright, 
we got two of these bad boys. Two of the, uh... Bro... Hold on... Two of the three artifacts already. <laughs> Micro Raptor said the PETA activists of ARC. <laughs> uh, once you get to Lost Island, you'll you're fine. That's the one and the, what the only map that doesn't have, have uh, Micro Raptors. Not neutral. Uh, move, bro. What I am gonna do though is we're gonna get these fires flamed up here, and we're gonna get our uh, we're gonna get our blue wyvern egg going. It's always smiling because he's happy, not because I'm nervous. Yeah, I, I, I definitely don't get, uh... I wouldn't be smiling all that much if I was nervous. You know what I mean? It should be good, right? Yeah, it's incubating. 88%. You know, the, 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 what is it? Lightning is not ice, right? Blue is lightning. Um, the egg looks really cool. Now, if you've watched any of my other streams, you'll know when I'm nervous, I, I generally am not smiling. And uh, thank you guys. I really do appreciate over 600 likes on the stream. I got two wyvern eggs. You know, I still don't have a fire one. But yeah, we got two wyvern eggs. I already hatched one of them. This one, obviously. Uh, take the poison to get a fire. So now that I have, well, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how the hell do I fight the damn wyverns. And, uh, is the press C to farm catch? Whoa, shit! And I got the uh, yeah, that's cool as hell.
Uh, I was wondering if I'd be better off fighting him with the lightning. Is the is the lightning attack easier to use than the poison attack? Like, I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time hitting a moving target with that. A moving flying target, that is. Damn, that's 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 crazy. So wyverns don't force you to land when you run out of stamina? Or send this egg out? That's a good point. Gotta be getting close. It's gotta be getting close. Yeah, 33. Do you imagine if I took one of these back to the island? Like, it's so unfair. Like, what could a Giga even do? can bite you to die. I mean, I, if I'm in the air just raining hell down on it, like, it, it can't do anything. You can zip line logs into a holder? How the hell do you do that? Dude, they look that looks crazy dope. Okay, so this one's got about 940 food, which should be enough, seeing as the other one only ate through about a hundred, maybe two hundred.
uh, lightning wyvern breath attack deals a lot, uh, hell of damage. And this is what. Whoop, don't don't punch. Look at this thing. Look at its eyes. Yeah, the the like lightning pattern on the wings. That shit looks really cool. Now I don't know why control punches. Like that's weird. Like generally, I just mouse click and I, I push control. Cause I've been uh, been playing Sons of the Forest and that's crouch, but I change. You know, I use C for the mo on this one. So yeah, now we got a lightning wyvern. Um, that one's gonna grow up. We just gotta make sure it stays safe. I think that's a lightning storm, isn't it? But I think I'm going to wait for that one to grow up before I try to kill a wyvern. But we might... Just the lightning storm. I might actually... Head over really quick. And see if we can maybe get our hands on a, on a fire. Oh, uh, damn. I'll, mi I'll miss all the imprints, though. Thinking about maybe getting like one or two imprints and then calling it good. Could cryo it. Let us let's get this one imprint in right now, then I'll cryo. Oh, I can't during a storm. Yeah, that's true. But right, we'll just wait out the storm then. It is what it is. Make a nanny. That was a uh, part of that mod that I I uninstalled. Lost Eden, how you doing? Uh, and the lightning dragon has aimbot. Yeah, so that, that, that... We might take my lightning dragon, we'll go level it up. And then we can clear that trench. And then once we clear out the trench, minus the alpha dragon in there. Um... We should be good, but I gotta, I gotta focus a lot on stamina. Now... The the breath attack, what what stat scales that damage? Is it the melee damage?
It's a fire alpha, I believe, was the one that we've seen. Alphas are always fire. Melee increases the lightning blast attack. Okay. Now let's try to figure, you know, what we need to, what stats we need to focus on. What's my nationality? I am. I'm a, I'm a mix of all types of stuff. Like, my mother's, uh, like, German and Polish and, uh, like, all this, like, but, like, American. Like, you know, we're talking, like, five, fifth generation, like, you know, grandparents, grandparents, grandparents. Um, and same with my father. He's all types of everything. He's African-American and Hispanic and Jamaican and I, I, I just... Yeah, I'm just a- I'm just a little bit of everything. <laughs> I just- uh, people are- I'm just American. I'm your typical mixed American. How old I am? I'm 33. I think. Yeah, I think I'm 33. Or 30, 32. 33. I think I'm 33. Nielski with the super chat. Same type of wyverns don't damage. So, but I could damage another wyvern with the bite, right? It's just, <laughs> even though I'm greedy with the milkshakes. <laughs> That was one time. I, I always forget how old I am. I don't know. It's just, it's not something I really pay attention to. It's like, I don't need my age for anything, so it's just never on the front. And then, like, the 30s, they just kind of mix. You know, 32, 33, 34, like, they all kind of just mix. That's when I gotta start, you know, counting on my fingers. Uh, do I know how old my, my, my viewers are? So I actually have a wide variety of, uh, like, demographics that watch me. Um, but the main age demographic... I can actually check it while we're waiting for this. I think it's 30... I think it's literally, like, right around my age. Let's see. So my main age demographic that watches me is 25 to 34, and then second place would be 35 to 44. Um... And then, you know, 45 to 54 is pretty high, and 18 to 24 is pretty high. My lowest is, like, 65 plus, 13 to 17, and 55 to 19. Or Munching them up, baby. So I, have, I, have a, I have a pretty, pretty wide range. This next imprint. Uh, are you allowed to play video games in the core? Are you talking about in the Marines? Of course. I mean, it depends on what you're doing. Um, I, even when I was in Afghanistan, um, we have USOs, which are just like, if you don't know what the USO is, it's like, um, 
kind of like I wouldn't say a charity, but it's like an organization that supports like the military um, and stuff like that. So we have USOs, and um, they'll have TVs, pay phones, and shit for us to call home, uh, computers for us to use. You gotta, you know, obviously you, you, you sign in and then you gotta wait in line. You only get like 20, 30 minutes on the computer. Um, but there's that. Um, we have. They'll have game consoles, PlayStations, Xboxes, and stuff like that that you can sign up for and play. Um, yeah, the, the, you can play you can play games in the military, and then if you're you know back in the barracks or whatever, uh, you say you're not deployed, uh, you can you can have an Xbox, a TV, or whatever in your room if you want. If I thought of getting a Phoenix, yeah, that would be really cool. We 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 went out in the heat wave looking for one. We couldn't find it though. These storms are something else. So I'll tell you what. Yeah, sometimes like uh, when I was in Iraq, I forgot who. Um, Nickelback. Nickelback actually came out to Camp Fallujah and uh, performed like five songs for us. It was really cool. Uh, Tim McGraw also came out um, to Iraq. I wasn't there for that one. Uh, I was out on a mission. But Tim, Tim McGraw came out, performed for us. Yeah, there's some artists that yeah flew into fucking war zones, you know, to perform. It was it was pretty dope. How much durability does a tent have? I don't even know how to check that. How do you check it? Oh, 36 health. <laughs> it's about to break soon. Storm's over though. I got another one, so it is what it is. All right, pick this bad boy up. What did I need to repair that? The more silk and stuff. That's wood. Hide in fiber. Oh, does it like repair it in stages? Oh, I see. I should have just fucking crafted a new one at that point. <laughs> yeah. One minute till we get the imprint. Did I batch the wyvern? No. What do you mean by that thing? Parasaur's echo can find the phoenix when it when it's in the uh, the ground. What? Really? So what? Phoenixes have like a spawn location. Oh, did I hatch the wyvern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got I got this one. I hatched this one, and then uh, we just hatched this one. It's growing up currently. We're trying to. It's half grown almost. Oh. Got that imprint done. This one's got the creepy face, though, chat. Like, 
That thing looks scary. No flyers on the next map. Oof. I mean, I, I think I, I think I'd get away with no flyers as long as I can have my Thyla. Thyla's my favorite team in the game for sure. Look at each other. I it isn't the same. What do you mean? I, no, it's worse. It's. it's, it's They're the same. Got them. Thought its eye was all white, but now I can see the slit. No thylas either. What do you mean no thylas? I'm definitely ready for Arc 2. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Won't be getting to no obelisk either. <laughs> so no no early game no early game gear. I'm strictly using, uh, so w what do you mean, oh heck, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not using any dinos from any other map. Now, we're kind of just, like, progressing as we go forward, but I haven't really been bringing Tames with me. Uh, <laughs> Aberration is almost every ARC player's nightmare. Uh, 12s. I appreciate you, brother. How are we looking? How are we looking, guys? We are at... This is going so slow. I'm trying to be patient, guys. I'm trying to use this time to talk to chat. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. That's where the last one is. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Twenty-eight, uh, ten, twenty. Mm. Looks like it's up in the mountain near the Drakes. Well, the the mountain near where the Drakes are. See, I would scout. The issue is. Um, I'm gonna miss my imprints. I'm not really so worried about the, you know, the it dying. I'm pretty sure, you know. And then I remember people saying that your dinos can't really die out of render like that. Um, but even if something did roll up in the base to try to attack it, it has how much health does this thing have? It's got like 2,600 health. Uh, uh, my thylers are gonna kill it. But yeah, I don't want to miss these imprints, man. Especially on a dragon, you know what I mean? Oh, every map, it just gets weirder. Giant dinos, wyverns, giant crazy golems, invisible dinos, dinos that impregnate you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Now, I, I I seen the um I told you guys when I I installed uh Arc on on Steam I, w I was sitting there and I was uh you know how the Steam has the little game previews 
So I was like, oh, you know, I, I like as I'm like looking and making sure I had all the DLCs and stuff like that, the previews playing, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is not the game. Um, like there was like I, I don't even I don't even know what it was, Chad. There was fucking laser beams and and and. and I don't even know what I, I this shit blew my mind. I thought it was a different game. So I actually backed out of the game and, and I was like, what is this? And it said Ark, and I'm like, what? So then I clicked on it again and I seen it said something about Genesis or whatever. So I, I was like, oh, that's one of the later maps. Yeah, shit was crazy. It was like a fucking looked like Titanfall mech suit thing came down. Or it looked like those little spaceships and the laser beams. It was. I was like, "Whoa, what the fuck!" I didn't want to watch too much of it, though. But I had watched a good bit of it because I, before I even realized that I was, you know, didn't want to watch it, I had already watched a good bit of it. But that shit was crazy. I would like to get the jetpack, though. I was thinking, um, because I, I got so. Hold on, let me check my recipes here. Uh, here and then tech grams. Megalodon tech saddle. What? What the hell did I unlock this? A Megalodon? Equip a Megalodon with this to ride it, enabling rider to fire plasma projectile. I didn't even know I had that. Oh, I could have made a ta tape, uh, tech saddle, guys. And then, yeah, I got the tech leggings here. Um, but I know there's a tech... I think you guys... I think I think there's like a jet pack and stuff, right? There's the armor, the head, the boots. Um, but I was like, yo, one of these uh, maps, I was like, maybe I should just fucking go there with, like, and just be on foot the whole time, you know? So all the tech unlocks are on island? Other map bosses also unlock. Yeah, I gotta build the the replicator. Yeah, so there we go. Uh wants to be yep, so we're gonna cryo you up. Until you stop craving mommy's milk. Wants to go on a walk. Freaking stuck on this wyvern.
Uh, Cooks, thank you so much. I appreciate the super brother. And while you're raising uh, bigger wyverns, I'm making 2k shotgun ammo so I can uh, do the tech cave. And I'm only going to bring one dino. Oof. Yo, it's the end boss fight, man. That's no joke, dude. I, yeah, Carlos, that's the crazy thing, man. Is it, yeah, Ark is definitely a, uh, not a game that you learn in, in a few hundred, even a few hundred hours of playing. Definitely takes some time to learn this game. But the thing about Ark is, you know, there's multiple different ways to play it. Obviously, I'm playing it a certain way. Um, and, and that's more or less for the convenience of a sh live stream. Um, but like I said, I will be checking out, like, official. I want to see, you know, what official rates feel like, what official PvP stuff feels like. Um, just to say, you know, I've experienced it. And, um, you know, I'm there's so many different elements to this game. Like, I'm playing the single-player element. And, you know, just pu putting multiplayer into the equation completely changes everything, you know. Uh, and and, and the, not even just PvP, just multiplayer in general changes so much. Uh, then when you get into the aspect of PvP, probably a completely different game when you're playing PvP. Because I couldn't, you know, I can, I, can, I can have my little base like this in PvP, but it'd be so easy for some dude to just roll fucking over the hill here and just come streamlining in with a, a giga and just rip me apart and kill all my dinos and eat my base i played daisy oh yeah i got plenty of time playing daisy how long how much longer we got uh, five minutes, 75%. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Uh, thank you. Almost 700 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. No, I, and, I, and I get that. You know what I mean? And, and that's why it's so hard, you know, because th there's so many people that come like to the channel that are veterans who started playing the game back when, you know, there was only official service, and, you, you know, people were playing, uh, you know, multiplayer, and then they come and they see what I'm doing, and they're like, dude, what the fuck is this? Like, this ain't even Ark. And it's like, I know, you know, I'm not, I, I know I'm not playing, like, the idea. I'm, I'm playing for me what is ideal in my current situation. I will be checking out official stuff, you know. I will be seeing what that stuff is like. Uh, but just to get a gist of all the maps, if I try to do that official playstyle on every single map i would never i would i would maybe get two maps done in a year <laughs> you know what i mean um so that's why i kind of got to streamline it just so i could see all the maps and then if i find a map that i'm truly in love with or something maybe that will be the map that i uh i do the official stuff on But I feel like, you know, it's not like, I, I feel like with the way I play, it's not like I don't get to experience anything. I feel like I still get to experience stuff. Maybe not in the way that, you know, you experienced it. But, you know, I feel like, you know, I still get, I still get to experience a little bit. Uh, Carlos, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, guys. I, you guys, you, you know, in, in the art community, you guys have just come out and showed me so much love. And, um, yeah, I, I really appreciate it. Cooked! To be fair, I'm only doing gamma uh, like this. And I'm going to use full tech. Oh, man, that's, that's dope, dude. That's the one thing I never got into. Um... It, 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 or yet is like grinding out caves for loot or grinding out the boss fights or and stuff like that for loot or going and f grinding alphas for or drops um I, I think the easiest way to get good like literally I, I thought about doing this off stream one day 
uh, you know, going around and just farming drops for like a few hours. Um, because I'm single player, I don't have to. I don't have no competition for drops. <laughs> You know what I mean? There's zero competition for drops where where if you're playing on a real server, multiplayer, PvE, or PvP, um, you gotta... It, it, not every drop is yours, you know what I mean? You're gonna have to worry about other players coming, snagging up the reds and the golds. And I was like, man, if I just flew around for like a couple hours, just farming up drops, I'd probably freaking have such good shit. Uh, I don't like these damn drops. These drops are getting some cocky yeah. ass loot. These ones are relatively close by. That's why I was snagging them up real quick. Been getting some really bad drops. Now, is there is there a better weapon in the game uh, than the Ascendant shotgun? Like, is there something else you could get Ascendant that would just be super good? Like, I don't know if there's like a tech the loot is bad, like really bad. Is there like a, a, a tech weapon or something like a tech gun? Oh, there is a tech rifle. Well, I I had the loot crate qualities um cuz default I think it's like one or one or two or something like that. I raised it up to to uh, before I raised it up to like 5 cuz that's what was recommended um because I heard that the loot crates when I was watching the videos for the single player settings and stuff like that, they said that loot crates are very very bad. Like you can go get a red drop and you'll get shit out of it. So they're like boost it up to like 5. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll boost it up to 5. I tried that and I was getting, you know, really good stuff and every I seen some people like, "Hey man, that's like you're getting like wicked good stuff um that you shouldn't be getting." And then I was like, "Ah, oh, so I lowered it back down to like 3." Um oh, we just got a red drop. Yeah, I ended up lowering it down to 3. And uh, that's what I've been playing with now on this map and it's we, I, I did get that Ascendant headpiece, so, out of the cave. I'm gonna wait for that to come down. I wanna go check my imprint, though. It's like freaking red right there. That's why I like I, I don't mind things being streamlined, you know, I don't I don't mind it at all I just don't want things to be Too easy like, you know where I'm, I'm just getting shit that I shouldn't be getting This is the last imprint There are cave drops at the green and blue obelisk in the water better to see them a night Really? Like, uh, there's cave drops outside of the cave? Alright, so this one's at 91%. We're almost done. I thought I did lower the uh, imprint on that, or the uh, the distance on that, but I, I guess I didn't. I'm gonna go grab that red drop really quick. 
By the time we get back, this wyvern should be ready. Well, but Jerry, thank you so much, brother, for the love. I really appreciate you, man. Cave drops out in the desert, too. Man, I was out in that desert. I didn't see shit. Come on, guys. We were we were walking around the desert forever. Another cluster grenade. Yeah, the loot is so bad. I already got one of those, and this is a Thorny Dragon Apprentice Saddle. Pepper. Go deeper in a- I was deep. <laughs> I was deep. Got another red drop over there. Yo, it's so easy to spot drops at night, though. Look at this shit. Um, sure, I'll take it. So this map is different than the island. I can spawn a boss fight at a damn drop, it seems like, chat. I think I can go to any obelisk, any drop. Twenty locations spawn any given time, which is random. Oh shit, that's crazy. We'll grab this red drop really like, uh we'll grab it on the dragon. We'll grab it on the dragon. Did I boost uh, dino gain per... No, the only one I did adjust the dino stat gain per level was um, stamina. I boosted stamina a little bit, and I believe it was um, weight. I boosted weight a little bit, too, because it was just really annoying <clears throat> having to go, like, do multiple, multiple, multiple trips. So I boosted stamina and weight a little bit. Uh, but I didn't touch damage. Because my dinos already do more than enough damage. Dragon's done. Jerry with another super chat, brother. Thank you, thank you. You have to remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, they don't have the beam. Yeah, I got you, Jerry. Yeah. Thank you, brother. I appreciate the love, man. Some stam going. This is what it feels like to be living that dragon life chat. Like, how does this even work in PvP? This just seems so overpowered. Like, once you get a dragon, like, say I'm in PvP right now. Like, I could just be flying around, and if I see a player, I could just be like... What, it's OP as fuck, dude. There's not much counterplay to that.
You have to remember that cave and underwater drops do not have the glowing tower on them. You have Toby almost right on top of them to see them. Uh, players can snipe you from the wyvern. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty dope. I might skirt, I might skirt around the desert here. While we're leveling too. That shit shreds. You guys said it's if if I stack melee damage will increase the damage of the laser the the lightning too. Sending lemoth. What is that? What is that? Lemoth. Uh, for that sounds familiar to me for some reason. Ascendant Thorny and a well. That's the moth, right? Moth, yeah, I was like, no wonder why that sounded. I thought it sounded familiar. There's a Rex right there. Disable and disable. What level is that Rex? 20. <laughs> You can move it. Now the moth can die t in 10 seconds instead of 8. <laughs> uh, you gotta place the well over an oil vein? I gotta learn how to aim it. it, it it's, it's still not that easy to aim. The thing I like about the wyverns is I don't have to sprint fly and I feel like I still am moving somewhere where most dinos I feel like if I'm not sprint flying I'm not I'm not even fucking moving for the most part oh shit wyvern out here I've actually never been down in this part of the desert This is the dunes chat. This is where the hardcore arc players build their bases.
Dracaris. How many of you guys have ever built a base down in the sand, like, like, just hardcore? I think the only downside is your base would stand out really easy, like, it'd be hard to, uh, camouflage your shit. Use, oh, use it in first person, the lightning? Oh. I don't understand. Does it move when I move my head? Okay. Yeah. So it moves when you move your head. Cause the cursor, wherever, because I was like, oh, it'll go where the cursor is. No, it's. Your head tries to go, like, the cursor could be over here, but your head could still be over here, and it takes time for it to travel. I tried to look up there, but the dragon wasn't having it. I'm like the fucking blue eyes white dragon, dude. Wasn't the blue eyes white dragons attack like the white lightning attack or something like that? I don't remember. Red in these dudes, man. Let's see here. Um, got 15 more points, so I'm gonna do a little bit more in stamina. Boost our damage up.
Perry! Yo, know, the fly will never be the same without. Yo, it really, it really it won't be, man. Oh, thank you for the super chat, brother. Try picking up a dino. You can pick up dinos with the... With the wyvern? Some good levels, though. Yeah, stamina is pretty important on wyverns because their breath attacks use a lot of it. Is the flame breath pretty easy to aim, or you got to be? Or is the lightning probably the easiest one to use? Jerry, thank you for the super chat, brother. Um, for me, best base location on Scorch Earth is uh, the Red Obelisk. There's a cave by it full of crystal obsidian, sulfur. Love me some flaming arrows. I need some sulfur for propellant. Yeah, that's hardcore, man. I did turn on cave building. For me, the best base location on SC is the Red Obelisk. There is a cave by it that is full of crystal, obsidian, and sulfur. I loves me some flaming arrows and need the sulfur for propellant. You are the flaming arrows pretty good in this game. Uh, it's like shotgun for flame. Yeah, up close and personal. That's why I thought like the the fire would be. Look how blue the water is right there. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll be moving to, uh, yeah, Aberration as soon as we're done with Scorch Earth. Uh, I just got to figure out what we're doing for my, um, my boss fight dinos. Oh, what is that over there, chat? Um, because I'm having a hard time finding Rexes. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll just use my breeders I have on island. Um, breed them there and then just upload them. Pick them up from the obelisk. You see though, yeah, I see, from here I could see like some kind of like dragon thing. This is dope. Oh, 
Oh shit, it's like some kind of big ass arena. Oh, it's the dragon, scorpion, lion. What the fuck? Now, now it has a scorpion tail. So it's a dragon, scorpion, lion with ram horns. You just take fifty different animals and put it together. Like, what the heck is that? Dragon, scorpion, lion with ram horns. A manticore? It's not a manticore, chat. That doesn't even make sense. It's dragon, scorpion, lion with ran horns. Ran horns. Like, if somebody's seen that, right? If we took somebody who's never seen that a day in their life, okay? And and chat was standing there, and I was standing there. And somebody was like, hey, man, what is that? And you were like, oh, that's a manticore. And I, and I was like, that's a dragon scorpion lion with with ram horns. They'd be like, I got it, dude. Like, instantly you know. Like, it just makes sense. I'm worried about trying to get dragon eggs with a with a wyvern is um landing in the dam the nest is gonna be so sus because it's so little It's the same family as man bear pig. <laughs> oh, you dare come and challenge me. Lightning doesn't hurt lightning. He must not have got the memo. when you're level 25, bro! Yeah, I don't want to pick a fight with the whole fucking Dragon Legion.
thought that dragon I shot at was not a, a, a lightning dragon, but I think it was. Battle please set your ass on fire, dude. Last thing you want to do is stop right there. That shit almost killed me. Be careful fighting these damn poison ones, chat. Oh, it did kill me! Hmm. All good, chat. We got it. You no, you 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 should be fine. Okay, so we were But this is why we had Thyla man over here.
I got, I got overconfident with those poison ones, chat. You gotta, you gotta be careful with them shits. I don't know how far down we were. at the south end of the scar. Oh, that's far. Okay, so the thing is, we're not overheating right now where we are. Now we are overheating. I survived long enough to get to my damn body, that's it. I told you I had a plan, chat. This, we were we were prepared for this. Let's get stam real quick. Do I have a plan C? Uh, no. No, no, this is it. This is all I got. <laughs> if this fails, I'll have to just come back over. I'll have to go back to base, get a get like my RG or an, an actual flyer. And uh come over here that way. Wasn't quite prepared for those poison missiles, though, to be doing damage to my actual body. I'm so used to, mo like, the tame taking damage. And me kind of just being along for the ride. Well, I knew you had. I knew you weren't gonna die. I was like, oh, well, you know, my dragon not gonna die. And then, as soon as I seen how low my health is, I should have just bailed. But I was like, ah, oh, nah, those those fucking poison dragons gotta be super close to dying. One more freaking pass with my lightning attack, and I should be able to kill him. And then, sure enough, I turned around. I think I killed one of them with the lightning attack. And then, uh, dude just nailed me with the fucking poison. No, I seen people saying that I could be hurt by the poison, but you guys were saying I could be hurt by my own dragon's poison. So I was just like, oh, you know, gotta be, obviously I, sh I should have been like, oh yeah, my own dragon can hurt me. And then obviously, yeah, there, there it is. Fuck, how the hell am I going to get my gear, though?
just stand on the dragon's back? Oh, stop fucking moving, dude. Let me let me let me practice this at low altitude. <laughs> let me let me uh let me practice at low altitude. It wants to fly, dude. I, I thought I already whistled them to stop following me. Yeah, he's not following me. Problem is when he is following me. And I do this. Let me see. different altitudes he just starts acting weird whatever goodbye Jabal okay, yeah this will work all right so now we just got to turn around hey guys my ascendant shotgun that I, I dedicated two hours to crafting is way more important than that Jerboa, unfortunately. Shit. on the side of us. Might be easier with the other flyer, to be honest. Can you stand on the back of the other one? Uh, the tip, the tape. Big flyers, of course.
was that not it, dude? How was that not it, chat? Get too far. Yeah, I probably could go a little lower and try to get under it and look up. Would be it. This is it right here, chat. No, dragon went fucking. No, <laughs> it went too far. Yeah, I was doing small movement taps, and it's it's just it goes so far. We got it. It took us a little bit of dedication, you know? And Jesus loves Brian confirmed. <laughs> what do you mean? That was that was dedication. Chat. Reve yeah, we're not messing around with them damn poison wyverns. Not not right now. Not without not without the proper protection. Like, all right, so be honest in the chat. All right, first of all, I want to thank you guys for over 750 likes. I really appreciate it. But be honest. How many of you guys thought I was not going to get my gear back? So I was praying you did it. Damn. I had no intentions on stopping until I got it back. I'd have been sitting there off stream trying to get that shit back.
Still on follow. Alright, so let's see here. Drop this, this, this. Gotta go through my chest at some point and get this shit squared away. My chests are so messy. Well, we did get two artifacts, though. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, we got two artifacts today. I uh, still have one more to go, uh, but we're going to end this episode here, guys. Uh, thank you so much again for coming and hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be going for the the the, the last artifact next episode. Um, but while I'm off, I'll, I'll, I'll be thinking of how I want to do it, whether I'm going to just breed Rexes on my other map and um, send them over to myself or if we're going to try to grind finding Rexes here. E either way, we'll we'll figure it out. Um, check my food bin. I should have a ton of food. I, I absolutely sh filled it to, yeah, I was gonna say, we should have tons. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank you guys again. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, almost 800 likes on the stream. I really appreciate that. We'll be doing another episode of Ark in, in a couple days. Um, for those of you guys who are gonna be asking, I know there's people who are like, when's the next episode? It'll be, uh, two to three days from today. Uh, but again, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, and if you haven't, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And other than that, uh, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.